Aloha friends and welcome to a very special live YouTube with a very special guest named Dan. Now I have to tell you, we have a certified keto coaching program and one of my favorite coaches that we have is named Carrie Camp and Carrie Camp lives in Phoenix. Um, she's an amazing coach and I just love hearing her testimonies. One of her testimonies she told us about was Dan and we want everybody to hear Dan's story because it's very inspiring and you don't use any medication. Is that correct? No. Mm -mm. Oh, that's awesome. Well, why don't you tell us about your story? You dealt with a lot of chronic pain. Yeah. Where it all yeah. started. Yeah, so, where it start? so it's pretty much it. it I'll, I'll make this brief, uh, but my dad always suffered with joint pain and it runs in my family. So, uh, he had at one point six joint replacement surgeries uh, wow. between his knees and hips. So they had to redo them um, because he was one of the first ones that was doing that. And so it, it was always a fear of mine that, you know, we were going to suffer the same fate. And I'm the youngest of seven. And so my brothers and sisters have all gone through this or, wow. or I, I don't want to say all, but four of the seven of us have gone through it. And mm -hmm. so with when I, in 2006, I had my ankle basically failing me and they rebuilt it and my mechanics were bad. And so I literally watched my dad for the last 20 years of his life in a wheelchair. And so basically my whole goal was to avoid that. And so I, I tried everything. I tried glucosamine to start and I tried and nothing worked absolutely nothing worked. I exercised. I tried to lose weight. I was yo-yoing uh, on diets. And uh, so I knew uh, Carrie. So I it, basically this went on for years and I dealt with a lot of pain. Like when I would work out, I would be so sore the next day that I could hardly move. And so I just always had this inflammation that I was dealing with. And so basically, uh, I've been through, I just counted this morning before I came on, I've had five different surgeries. I have in my body, I have, I think now, because they took three pieces of metal out and replaced it with one, but I've, I've had a hip replacement, a knee replacement, and an ankle replacement, knee surgery. Um, I've, had, I've had a lot, right? And so uh, about last summer, uh, I ran into some friends uh, and they, had they had lost weight and I'm like, what are you doing? And they said, well, you remember Carrie camp and Carrie and I used to be in a networking group. And so we, I called Carrie, they looked great. And I was and they're like, we feel awesome. And so I called Carrie and at the end of August last year started on her program. Uh, and I don't use this lightly because I've tried everything. I was vegetarian for a hot minute. I was, I mean, I've tried literally everything. Uh, and last August, I got on her program and the coaching program, and I am now working out five days to six days per week, pain-free with kids. I'm 57, um, and I work out with kids 20 years younger, and I keep up with them. Uh, and that's been going on now for two months. Uh, I've gotten back in the gym for two months. And I have to say, it's it, it's nothing short of life changing. And I am not one to use those words ever. But I've lost about twenty pounds. I put on muscle. I've I've I can do things that I I couldn't do before that I could do when I was younger, but I just haven't been able to do them for the past couple of years. And it's I mean, it's just incredible. And the and the only thing that's really changed is this program. So that, wow. wow, that is that power right diet. there. What power? Diet. That's amazing. Cause I know a lot of people kind of in your situation will go and look into like stem cells or something like that would be super expensive. And if you don't have the actual cartilage, they can't help you. And they should, some of them will be honest and tell you, you know, if you don't have that mechanics there, I'm not, I, it can't help you. Yeah. But like, like you said, the inflammation and getting that out of the sugar out is so powerful. It is, so I did stem cells. I did PRP. I did. Um, I literally, I don't think there's anything that I haven't tried. I you were really, serious. Like, there, tried everything. Yeah. Surgery I've done, you know, so 
And I, I just, so now I was walking with my wife, which is something that was always painful. And she looked at me and said, you know, it's, it's really great that when we're walking right now, I don't see you struggling. And so I always thought I hit it. Right. So, you know, he's going to be a tough guy, but, um, but you can't always hide that. And I'm like, you know, I didn't realize what I was carrying with me. And I think that's where people get to when they are suffering with that chronic inflammation they don't even realize what they're actually dealing with and what their pain tolerance becomes um because the, the it's just normal and oh yeah i feel a little creaky and doesn't everybody but and and people always told me you know avoid sugar it'll help out your inflammation no one really brought it to me in a program that made sense mm -hmm. and so that that's really what the difference has been and it's been just really incredible so yeah well before we talk a little more about uh where you're at now uh, what what did what were you using uh prior to this this change as far as trying to manage the pain what Medication. were you on a prescription or anything like that I, no um i've never been one for drugs i've never been one to want to do that i would take when things got bad i would take ibuprofen i'd stretch like crazy and nothing would really work um and i got to the point where you know, my, so I, I was in a bike accident and they had to pin my femur together. And that eventually wore out about a year and a half ago. And then I just wasn't recovering from the replacement that they had to do. They had to replace my hip. And so I, I just wasn't recovering and I still felt really shaky there. And so I knew I wanted to strengthen that. And, but I just, I'm not one to use medication like that. Like even after the surgeries, I wouldn't take any of the Oxycontin. I just, I don't like it. It's, it, it just yeah. doesn't feel right. So, you know, the, about the most that I ever did was, you know, have a couple of drinks at night, but that, that was about it. And so since, since I found this, I haven't needed it and I've strengthened, uh, been able to get back to the gym and, and work out really hard class type workouts that I've been doing that excuse me i'll turn that off um that i've been doing that has not affected me and i can do workout after workout i mean it's it's unbelievable you know, i uh, volunteered at a nursing home when i was in high school and one of my favorite patients i asked him like what's the secret to a good life and he said take care of your back and i was like is that a metaphor for something and he's like no if you live in chronic pain you can't focus on anything good going on in your life because it's just always there. And I see you, I, I see my husband, like living in chronic pain is terrible. And why wouldn't someone take the steps to what we put in our mouth, you know, as helping all of that? I think so many people don't connect the two. Or realize yeah. how good you can feel. Yeah. And that's what I never did. I mean, people told me this, I have a great, great, great chiropractor here in Phoenix. Uh, and, and I, love him. And he's been telling me that for a long time. And when I told him I got on Carrie's program, he's like, good, because I've been telling you to do something like that for a long, long time. And, um, and so it just like you just said, Craig, it, it's not connecting the two. Yeah. And when you connect the two and really execute on it. And the thing I love about what Carrie especially teaches, because Maria, I've seen a lot of your stuff online, and I love it. Um, but Carrie was really great to hold my hand mm -hmm. um, yeah. and give me recipes that were good and I could use. And that made it, it really has been simple. It's not been complicated. It's changing a few habits. Um, but once those habits are changed and you start to feel the momentum, you're like, wow, I feel, I feel good, you know? So, and yeah. it, it really was, was great. So, yeah, that, that's amazing. And that's why we started co training coaches because, you know, we can't hold everybody's hand, you know, we I don't have time, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. but we want, we knew the power of this. And so we wanted it to empower more people to go out and help more people. And that's why we uh, started our coach training program. And anybody wants to connect with Carrie, we, I'll have yeah, a Karen, link. Karen, someone's asking a question a about, I'm in Phoenix. What's his name, please? Well, we're talking to Dan, but Carrie Camp, and we'll have her information it links below, below here in the description. But what I love what you said is like people told you sugar was bad, but I don't think people realize we're not talking about like cakes and ice cream. We're talking about bagels, 
pretzels, bread, rice, pasta, like all that stuff becomes sugar in your bloodstream once it enters. It. Once it's digested. And that's, it's that's the connection I didn't make. All of the things. And it's just even most of the things that are called keto in the store, we just make all of our food now. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, I just, yeah. It, it just the chemicals they put in things are just absolutely terrible. And I, I, just, I didn't realize that. I didn't make those connections. And at first time it was overwhelming, I have to say, because I'm like, what do you mean? I can't do that or that or that. And then you get into it and you're like, oh yeah, I can. And oh, there's a workaround for that. And it, it ends up being delicious. Um, I'll give you a plug. The Equip uh, shakes are absolutely the best thing in the world. <laughs> they are, They my wife who does not like like, <laughs> She's very thin and very trim and very, uh, very active. And I had her try the shakes and she's like, oh, I can drink that. Those are yeah. great. I mean, I, they sent it to me for, and I it was sitting in my pantry for over a year. And I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, this was a couple of years ago. I was just trying to put on some more muscle and get more protein into my diet. And I just cracked it open and I was like, this stuff's really good. And you mentioned that I'm coming to Phoenix, which I am in April. April 12th is the event and it's with Equip. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, you know, I, I'd have to look back at it. <laughs> yep, it's, 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 Equip is putting it on. It's an event. I'm going to do some cooking demos. I'm actually going to make some really interesting recipes because I'm all about chewing your calories. And so I have some really interesting recipes where you actually use the equip it's packed with protein and you know you make some cake and different things like that so it'll be really fun to see you there ah uh, yeah i'm looking forward to it for sure but you know one of the things i want to talk about here is uh i think it's so important it's you know there's i think two aspects to this that really enabled healing in you and, and so many people and that's lowering the inflammation so you know bringing down those carbohydrates lower the inflammation in the body but then enabling your body to rebuild and heal itself. And that's prioritizing protein, protein. getting enough protein. Uh, you know, bones, bones are essentially a matrix of protein that's filled in with calcium. And so, you know, healing those uh, old, old injuries and wounds, having enough protein is so important to enable all those healing processes. So that was something when I started, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a ton of protein. That's a ton of healthy fats. And they really were healthy fats. And it really was easy. Like I thought when I first started to try to internalize it, I was going, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to eat, you know, but it really was simple. I mean, it was not hard at all. It's foods that I loved uh, that I always thought were bad for me. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, were high in fat or something, but they were healthy fats. Um, yeah. and so, and it's not the, Hey, go eat ribeye three times a day sort of thing. It's, it, you know, just all the, the noise out there is so, I don't know, so raw. <laughs> and I, I just, I, when I started to get into the science and then started to do it, it wasn't like the weight was just falling off of me. I've done other programs where the weight has just fallen off and I, I gain it right back. I lost 20 pounds. I, I kept it off. Um, I built muscle. I, I know I can lose more if I want. I know how to do that. Um, and if I decide that I want to be a little bit lighter, it does feel good to be a little bit lighter uh, and stronger. And so I know how to kind of do that too. It's it's really been a, a, a really wonderful experience for me. You know, I'm really glad you said that about the noise that's out there. And again, that's one of the reasons we created the the coach training program is because we want it to be the right way, the the way that we know from the right noise. You know, 20 years of experience of you know prioritizing protein and doing the right things that will enable healing. And uh, you know, there's and, and you mentioned the keto products too. You know, we always tell clients if it has keto on the package, avoid it. Actually, you know, today it dropped. Just stick with Whole Foods. Today uh, on our main YouTube page, I dropped a video called You Will Fail on Keto because it's all the keto products out there, like the keto breads and the chalk zero chocolate and all that type of stuff because, you know, I've been doing this for myself 27 years. There wasn't keto back then. There was no keto products. Right. It was just eat real food. And I'm not trying to be the keto police, but I really want people to have success like you do, Dan. And hearing it from your mouth is really powerful. Like you just can't do the keto junks and the keto products because it's just and it's, not it's simple. So kind of Carrie's formula, and I, 
my wife gets tired of this because she's like, if I hear about Carrie one more time, I say, <laughs> you know, so Carrie comes with a warning label because once you're converted, you might talk about Carrie all the time. Yeah, that's um, great. But at, at the end of the day, uh, we make enough to carry for lunch the next day um every night and i i'm i'm an egg lover anyway so i eat eggs and and the shakes are great so i bring a shake to work with me and then we make dinner it's that's it and we eat three times a day that's it i avoid snacking but i can because i'm not really hungry mm -hmm. so you know it's it it's it's really very simple i mean when you break What's it down to the most people eat all day long, I feel like they snack or they yeah. grab things and then they're not really hungry. And it just becomes this whole long day thing of eating instead of, you know, the way things are kind of designed to be. So, you know, there's a, uh, are you familiar with the, the onion? It's a satirical oh, yeah. newspaper. It's actually up, it's actually yeah. up, it's a, I saw one of the articles they posted. It said, uh, Americans now eat on average one continuous meal per day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect. But like, I, I didn't even know what hungry was when I was a kid because we just ate. Constantly snacking and eating. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it, it will, if you follow it, it will change things for you. I've, you know, there's three of us that have done it just with Carrie that I know, but I've referred her just a lot of people. And I, you know, it, it, the system, the program works because it's real food. Right. Mm -hmm. And now, even even the equip shakes that you men mentioned uh, are uh, bone broth, right? So, I mean, it's just different. So, I I do I love it, and it's been great for sure. Some uh, other people chiming in as well, with, says, you know, similar experiences. Twenty two old fractures from a whole horrible car accident. Know all about inflammation, and and this yeah. this lifestyle can really help. It really can. It really can. Uh, yeah. One more here. Uh, Keto saved my life. Three hip uh, surgeries. surgeries and down 110 pounds. Off wow. Off gabapentin and pain. Uh, total oh truth is what Dan is saying. I love that. Thank you for chiming in. That's so amazing. Yeah, this it, it, it's. I think it's those two aspects together. Getting the inflammatory foods out. And that's not just sugar. That's the chemicals in the processed food. It's the gluten, the, the, seed you know, oils. the, gluten, the seed oils, these, these uh, you know, unhealthy fats like seed oils. You know, getting those out, those those things are all inflammatory and that all builds up. And then having enough protein, not just for the amino acids, but rebuild your bones and your muscles. Yeah, you went through a lot of surgeries. All the vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. and that's the other aspect to the healing part that prioritizing protein makes so much sense because the most one of the most nutrient dense foods you can eat. I mean, most people out there, if you if you hand them a plate and there's a steak and there's some kale and some blueberries on it, and you ask them which of those is the most nutrient dense has most vitamins and minerals. Most people probably say the kale, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really the steak. The steak has yeah. the most vitamins and minerals across the board and that helps your body heal. Yeah, that's all part of the educational process too because you start to kind of unwind a lot of misinformation. And for that sure. for me is, it's like, but you know, when you go back to it, you kind of know what your what feels good with your body. Right. So when you think about it, do you feel good after you have a steak? I had one last night. I felt great. You know, so I mean, it's it, you don't feel so great when you eat that packaged food. I'll tell you that. So, That's you know, so it's 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 kind of just paying attention to your body, I feel. And, you know, you can veer off once in a while. I did. That is not a problem. One thing that I've been just ecstatic about is, you know, if we go on vacation for a week, which we've done or around the holidays, and there's a lot of foods that will tempt you just because of how you've been raised and how you've eaten traditionally. So I, I put on like two, three pounds over the holidays and took it off immediately. Um, and it just, to me, is something I, I can rely on to go back to. And it's really interesting when you do veer off, you start to feel a little sore. I was going to ask you. You feel some creaks and things, and it's like, oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm done with that. So see, I do I do keto retreats around the world, and we I just got back from Italy, and there was a few people there that they were very thin and looked super healthy, and she's like, 
some people would go and have gelato, which I don't mind. There's no judging whatsoever. She's like, oh, no, Maria, I'm not having gelato. I'm, I cannot walk. I can't hang out. Like, I, I, I'm in chronic pain if I do have the gelato. So I'm not, I'm not even tempted by that anymore because it makes me feel so awful. And you know what that we did? I pack Equip with me the equip shake and I made a little gelato for us. Cause if you add ice and froth that up, it's like ice cream basically mm -hmm. because yeah. it gets really thick and gelatinous and stuff. So we basically had our own gelato party without them <laughs> and we didn't yeah. feel bad afterwards. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it does make a huge difference for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the, I think that makes it easier as you go on is that not only, uh, well, changing the mindset of, you know, I can't, have that to i don't want that and you know obviously yeah. somebody like you or, or me who have the chronic pain you get that reinforcement of i don't want that because i know what it's going to do to me yeah, uh, yeah it, it it become it's a it's a profound mind shift um but it kind of happens for you like i i didn't go into this to say okay i'm going to think differently um i i just do you know yeah. um because it it you know, and you get rid of something you've struggled with for years and you didn't think there was a real solution to it. I just kind of always felt like, you know, and I didn't want to be one of my motivations is I don't want to be in a wheelchair like my dad was. I don't want to be a burden to people. I, you know, I absolutely, that's, that's one of my most powerful motivations. And I, I have to say this, this has made the difference. I really don't fear that anymore because I feel like I can do what I want to do. I mean, I'm walking, four or five miles a day whenever I want, you know, and it, I just I'm wish people would start earlier. How do you have kids? I, I have kids and I talk to them all about it. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. but you know, they're in their twenties. So I know, you know but you're planting a seed for but them. But at least you're, you're giving them a key, give, you know, something that maybe your dad wish he had, you know, right, back right. When he, I know I I'm big on that train. I'm like, do this. You will like it. It it is easy to stick to. It's not complicated. You make your own food, and it's actually quicker. Think about this. Oh, I'm gonna cheaper. leave work, go and cheaper. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, to a, uh, a a restaurant, grab lunch, and come back. That's an hour, right? Yep. Yeah. You bring it with you. You you can sit at your desk. You can go take a walk in the park in and yes. it's better right it's better it. for you yeah. all over it so you just start to think differently you start to it and it's it's easy to stick with you know i still go out and have drinks with friends i still you know all of those things i just watch what i, I don't drink beer anymore <laughs> you know that's there's just simple things that we do that really and then we'll introduce things once in a while like okay, I'll, I'll have a few blueberries here and there, you know, but nothing really to, to sacrifice that. And I, you know, it's, it's just been super easy. But teaching so. like the kids, I, I like that you yeah. are planting a seed. Our children are 13 and 14 now, but they've eaten this way their whole life. Mm -hmm. And we homeschool the boys. They, they had an assignment. Kai had an assignment. Our youngest had an assignment that he needed some sort of starch. And I was like, start, like, I don't have any starch. I had nothing in and the house. Our kid said, you don't, you don't have any Capri Sun? And he's like, what's Capri Sun? <laughs> and so he told him what Capri Sun, he goes, that sounds like sugar, sugar, cancer, and diabetes. <laughs> I just love that he had but, that. But we haven't just, you know, all along forced them to eat this no. way. No. We just have, we, we feed them what, what we eat. And the whole time we educate them, mm -hmm. this is why we eat this. This is why we don't eat that. And, and when they do have sugar, they don't feel good. Yeah. We say, this is why, yeah. you know, and we connect those dots and we educate. And I think that's the <clears throat> most important thing with kids is just give them the education. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's like you mentioned, that's not what's not been done in the past. So for sure. I wanted to touch on Gail. She said, what if you are a clean yeah. carnivore and still having pain due to autoimmune issues? Because this is my yeah, so that's me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, clearly, Dan, you had a big connection with food and your inflammation. And so you've mm -hmm. had dramatic results. Uh, I do want to temper that, you know, anybody out there that knows more about keto and its healing potential, and and keto carnivore. and carnivore and their healing potential than us. We've been doing it, helping clients for 20 years. We've seen miraculous results like Dan here. 
But I myself even, uh, although I see a lot of improvement in my inflammation and pain, it doesn't completely go away for me with my ankylosing spondylitis. It started with spine mm -hmm. disease. And so I do need to look at different modalities to aid as well because my trigger wasn't solely food. It was my trigger was Lyme disease, which you know it was introduced and caused my inflammation cycle to start. And so, Gail, what I would encourage you is the answer is not always to carnivore harder. Okay, diet can do a lot, and diet can do a lot of uh, help you a lot with inflammation. But in some cases, if your trigger was something else, it could be it could SIRS, be mold, you know, mold uh, chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Get it checked out. Get get with somebody literate in that, a doctor that can help you look at other modalities to help you heal. I would say the first thing would look into have your house tested for mold yeah. and yourself because that's your probably the easiest thing. Our assistant Autumn had the, she was living with chronic pain and it turned out her carpet had mold and she got yeah. rid of that. And she's like, I'm like a new person. Yeah. So things like that, or you also like the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So yep. uh, different, different modalities yeah. like that, that can add, you know, more improvement. So yeah. just want to throw that out there to people who, well, I tried it and it didn't, didn't work. It didn't work for me. So there's, it, it will work for the vast majority of people, but there's definitely, if you're, if one of your main triggers wasn't food, then you got to look at other. And your inflammation did go way down. It's yeah, just, it did. It's just not completely. Yeah. Um, and what I want to circle back to Dan on that is what's really interesting to me is uh, clearly in your family, you have some genetic component mm -hmm. that makes mm -hmm. you more susceptible to this inflammation which has mm -hmm. been breaking down the joints of family members. Are you super so, tall? Uh, well, it, it's yeah. really interesting to me uh, that maybe it was a food component all along, you know, these infl inflammatory food components that was causing this in your family. I, I think so. I'm, I mean, they. I, I think it makes sense. Um, my sister uh, introduced me, first got me thinking about diet a long time ago. She, she did a paleo diet, diet and um, she had lost a ton of weight and felt great and, um, she still does it to this day. And so this, this just was more suited to me. And so for me, you know, this just works out better. Uh, and I have more of a response, uh, with keto than I've, I've had with anything else. So. And compliance is and, the biggest thing. Like you said, you've tried other diets and it worked, but then. You, you can't stick weight. with it. And, you know, this, you sound like it's your lifestyle now. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we enjoy eating this way. It's, it's not a, it's not an issue to stick with it at all. So, no, no. so yeah, yeah it's, that's it's been great. And it, it, it has made a huge difference in my life and I, it's hard to, hard to minimize it. Awesome. Well, Dan, we don't want to take up too much of your time, but I did want you to send us uh, your mailing address because we'll send you the book Keto, whether you want to read it or pass it on to somebody members. that is interested in transforming their life like you did. Absolutely. I'll send you my address. I'd love to, I'd love to read it. So it's awesome. been, uh, been a really great experience and I appreciate it. Oh, awesome. awesome that makes me so happy. And everybody will have Carrie Camp's information below as well as the link to equip if you want to make your own gelato at home too. Awesome. All right, Maha. Everybody, have a great day. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Thank you so much. All righty.